Today us lucky uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 users have uh, received an update to the uh, the original firmware uh, as it stands this only seems to be available in the UK um, but the main fix of it actually seems to be um, the delay when the home key is pressed for example if you're in your uh, internet browser and you push the home key originally there used to be a delay or the screen would redraw itself as you can see the uh, the transition now is absolutely flawless um, this update uh, which I'll quickly show you on screen um, if we go down to about device um, you can actually see here uh, that the build number and band base version at the end of the band base it's changed to uh, to LF2 um, which seems to be what the uh, what the update comprises of um, this indeed has fixed the uh, the home key delay uh, also uh, several people have reported uh, improvements in the uh, the brightness control which I personally found under uh, high light, sunlight conditions meant that you couldn't visibly see the screen that issue seems to have gone um, there's definitely the uh, the redraw issue is uh, is fixed going in and out of there uh, the one thing we were hoping for also was the uh, the cell standby um, this doesn't seem to have been fixed in this update, so uh, people such as myself are, are seeing a very high uh, high cell standby draw. 30% um, of the battery uh, has been used in uh, in nearly 14 hours, just by the uh, the radio inside the phone transmitting and receiving signals, um, which is uh, which is very high, especially compared to an S2, which has a very similar, if not identical, radio in there. Um, so hopefully the next update will uh, we'll see an update to that. Thank you for listening.